We are gonna put up our first ever Christmas tree today. Thought I would bring you guys along because I would definitely want to remember this. in this house. Yes. Well, we never had a real Christmas or a Christmas tree between us. I mean, obviously our families, but like between us, yeah. this is our first Christmas tree. We've been waiting <laughs> till we had a house a so we could store it. Back. Yes. Well, that's not fake. <laughs> okay. That's real. It does kind of look fake. But um, yeah, we've been waiting to have a house so we could actually store the Christmas tree. Um, we also just go home for the holidays. Back to Georgia. We're in Texas if you guys are new. Um, I'm Sonali, this is Ryan, and we just bought a house. So we're doing all the fun house stuff. There's lots more renovations to come. Um, I'm in my Skims PJs. Anyways, we go home for the holidays, so usually we don't really do too many decorations anyways because we're home for a while and we're just like, I don't know why I put it up here. But we're doing it early. What's the date? November 14th. 14th. So we're doing it early so we can have it up for a good amount of time. And now we have storage, so we have no excuse. We have like non-copyright music in the back because I'm not letting YouTube up. <laughs> Let's get started. We bought a Christmas tree from Target. I was originally going to buy a Christmas tree from like Home Depot. What was the other um, place that we were looking for a Christmas tree? The Hobby Lobby. No, We're no, where do we go? Skins. Yeah. We're matching in skins. <laughs> she looks like E.T. right now. Where did we go that looked so fake? Um, oh, Costco. The Costco one did not look very good. It looked a little fake. So we went to Target and we actually bought a flocked tree, which I used to love flocked trees. I'm kind of over it now. But this one had warm lights. The one we originally wanted did not have warm lights. It had like white lights. So we're gonna unbox it and hopefully it's good. It was actually on sale and we're gonna wait until after Christmas for this first year to buy a Christmas tree so that it was on sale but it was on sale before Christmas. So I was like, okay, that's great. But I honestly think that sales nowadays are like totally fake because why would it be on sale during peak time of buying a Christmas tree? Like that just does not make sense. So I think they like marked it higher to then make it on sale. Does that make sense? Anyways, let's unbox our first ever Christmas tree. chunky knit Christmas tree skirt. I thought it looked so cozy and festive and like snowy. I don't even know how to describe it. Okay, let's put it down. Glitter's everywhere. <gasps> Glitter is everywhere. Good. We can back you. Um, Should we put it all together first? Or? Maybe, yeah. It's pretty easy to. Oh, goodness gracious. Grand reveal. Yay, 
That looks really pretty. Hey Google, turn all the lights off. All right, turning 11 lights off. The warm Sorry, lights were like such lights a good call right now. What? That was my call. Pick this out. Okay, you picked this out, but I was yeah. saying that we needed warm lights. Okay. Let's see. No, green ones. I love it. Our first Christmas tree. I didn't realize that there's like glitter all over this tree in the store, but it hasn't gotten on me really as much as I thought it would. I hate glitter, honestly. I just, not a big fan, but it really does look pretty on the tree. So hopefully it doesn't get everywhere. We'll just have to vacuum. I think it's a good height, you know, mm -hmm. especially for the space. I got these from Target. How freaking stunning are these ornaments? They are pretty big compared to the tree. And then I got these from Amazon. They actually just came, so it's perfect. But I know like brown's very trendy right now, the chocolate brown, so hopefully it'll look good together. And then we obviously have our cutesy, like little kitschy ornaments that I love so much. Um, and hopefully every year we'll like just add more and more, but those can get expensive, so. We're gonna start with like the pretty ones and then just add the cutesy ones. I held out to do the fun ones. So we're gonna put the sushi on first. Yeah. Front and center. <laughs> That's not even the good sushi one. Show them the good sushi one. What's this one then? I don't know, I think I got that at like Hobby Lobby on sale. Wait, show them the other one though. This one is beautiful. This was our ornament that we got last year. Bergdorf Goodman, is that what it's called in New York? Mm. And it's so detailed. I love ornaments that are so detailed like this with the beads and everything, like Tobiko. I feel like that should go front and center. No, change them, change them. That one's my favorite. Current, current favorite. You always gotta have a favorite cute, kitschy ornament. What does kitschy mean? I don't really know. <laughs> you just saying that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I joke with Ryan whenever he's like, what the heck does that mean? I'm like, no, English was not my first language, but it definitely wasn't it's all my only language, but how freaking cute. One year H-E-B sent me like a PR package and they sent a little ornament. I mean, it's like oh, kind of a joke, but like also not really a joke because HGB is okay. amazing, so. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? Can you put it in the back? I like don't really I want that, idea. like. Let me have my HGB. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm gonna do the popcorn one. This is our most recent edition. He found it at Target, it's so cute. This is another ornament that we got from Bergdorf Goodman, um, and it has pearls all over it. It's so cute, but I was just telling Ryan it's so expensive and like it didn't even come with a dang hug. How does that make sense? Anyways, where should we put this one? Mm -hmm. yeah. Where? Mm -hmm. done <laughs> that's all the fun ornaments we have hopefully we can collect them over the years but I definitely want them to be like nicer and I don't know I just don't want to go all out with like cheap ornaments I guess I want them to also be sentimental all the things so that's it for now but I think it looks so good I think you did good not bad you could use maybe a little bit of fluffing fluffing maybe a tree topper but I also yeah, was looking at them online and I didn't really star. It's kind of messed up. I know but I didn't really find one that I liked so I didn't uh, want to settle. Three wise men. Hmm? Great question. He's so cute. I love little Christmas things like this like such details. I'm obsessed. Santa Claus what are you doing up there? What if he like literally balanced on that one branch? That would be kind of iconic. Can you make it? Oh. 
kind of cute up there. What do you think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> It is a new day and the Christmas tree is looking beautiful as ever on this disgusting cloudy day. Yesterday and the day before was like the first sunny days in so long, especially since the um, daylight savings time happened. And so it was so nice. And then I thought there was some sun on the forecast today. I actually had a grad shoot this morning and it was so overcast and misty. And I called her and I was like, hey, we can reschedule if you want. She just wanted to go through with it, but I think the photos turned out pretty good. Um, given what we are dealing with. It is currently Thursday today, so we're almost to the weekend. We have a fun day ahead of us, so I thought I would vlog. But first, I wanna share with you guys a little Dolce Vita unboxing. Well, technically, I already unboxed everything for TikTok, but guys, look at these freaking boots. These have been on my want list for so long, and I love the little heel because anything lower than you know four inches is gonna be a lot more comfortable. So I'm hoping these fit over my calves, which they definitely look like they will, but I've realized that I have really big calves, unfortunately. So a lot of over like the shin boots do not fit around my calves, which is very unfortunate. Um, and then I got these beautiful ballet flats and there's like a sheen to it. The pearl detail is so cute too. I think these are called slingbacks. I may be totally wrong, but I think they're super cute for like a blazer outfit. I need to get dressed because I'm going to meet my friend at this place called Marabu or Marabu. Um, it is on South First Street and it's like a home store with a little cafe in it. I'm going with my friend Nancy and we're both obsessed with box shot, which is like literally down the road. So we're actually going to go there for a chai after and just chat. And I really need to find a dining table. So she is helping me a lot with like interior design. So I think we're going to like do some searching on our computers for a dining room table because I ordered my dad and it's like back order. So it was my breakfast nook table. I just want a table to sit at because right now my office is my couch and that's not making me very productive. I could sit on those bar stools right there, but that just would not be very comfortable. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling because I have to go get ready. Here's the outfit of the day. My top is from Z Supply. Jeans are from Frame. I'm wearing my new Dolce Vita flats. I put my hair up in a barrette. I never do this. I never wear a half a flap down. Pearl earrings. This bracelet from Cezanne. It's like a pearl bracelet. Oriana bracelets and we are ready to go but I probably need a jacket but I don't have like any cute jacket to go with this so I'll just probably grab a random jacket the house is like still a mess guys because I have so many Amazon boxes over here this is just like all organization stuff I kind of want to film a separate video on it so I'm just like waiting for the perfect moment to do that so let's go to Foxtrot the destination is on your left Foxtrot Okay, also, I love your cardigan so much. Thank you. Is on. Yes, yeah, of course. <laughs> um, we just got parking at Foxtrot because it's yes. literally impossible sometimes to get parking here. So we're actually going to walk over to Marabu, Marabu, whatever it's called, and then we're going to come back here and get our chais. I'm so excited. For I am chai. so excited. I've <laughs> been craving this. The cutest freaking home store. Everything is just, oh my God, they have all of those books. Wow. Okay, I'm looking for a little gift for my friend. Damn, they have so much to choose from. <laughs> There's like a little cafe in the back. All gluten-free baked goods. Love mini things. So cute. Mm -hmm. I need to find a pendant for my dining room too. Yeah, you need to find a lot of space. <laughs> I know. We gotta get too much space to yeah. space to fill. Which it smells unreal. <laughs> look at how beautiful these soaps are. Those are really nice. Those look like something that would be in like an Italian. Um, yes, hotel. yes. <laughs> or like even just like in Capri, like in a gift shop yes. or something. <gasps> these marble trays. I love Foxtrot. I'm so glad they came to Austin. They have such fun things like they even have orange wine. They have like a bunch of Jenny ice cream flavors down here. I'm sorry if it's so loud. Oh wait, I've seen that. I know. I'm like, wait. This is, I don't smell it, but it's closed. Oh shoot. <laughs> I've definitely seen that detergent. It's closed. Yeah, it's closed. I don't wanna. Yeah. I don't wanna <laughs> 
Um, but I was thinking of getting my friend this carbone sauce and then some pasta. And I feel like that's a cute little gift. Back home in my comfies, and I feel like I always have to say sorry for the mess, but honestly, I think you guys get it. I feel like we're gonna be moving in for the next couple months or just like getting situated. So anyways, this is our dining room right now, but let this be your lesson that you should always measure what furniture you're going to be buying because I was this close to purchasing a dining room table that we, um, me and Nancy found. I think it's just like a little too long. I feel like if the door wasn't right here, it wouldn't be that big of a deal because this wall is pretty big, but then this cuts off right here. So it's actually kind of shorter than it looks because if I get a dining room table this long, there's not much space to like walk around it. And this side is like right up against the wall pretty much. So I definitely could not walk around this side. But like it looks like it would fit, but you kind of have to think about it logistically. You don't really want your dining room table in your face like right when you walk through the door. It does come in 63 inches, but Nancy actually has it in her home and I just FaceTimed her and she showed me and it looks just too small. Like I feel like it wouldn't fill the space enough so i think i'm going to try to find something similar around like 70 inches or a little more than that because right now this is 91 inches and the smallest size they have is 63 so that's like a big jump i thought i was good to go on the dining room table and it's in stock and everything so let's just hope i can find something that can get here pretty fast on the boots and i just have to say one thing to dolce vita thank you thank you for making boots that fit wide calf people because i struggle okay and these actually fit. I mean, they were a little tight. I'm not even going to lie. But now that they're on, they're like perfect. Ryan's looking so cute today. Look at his outfit. Where'd you get that little Henley waffle? Oh, yeah, I bought that for you. That's why it looks so cute. Take the hands with it or not? Yeah. Guys, I saw these in our kitchen. I got them yesterday. <laughs> I saw these in our kitchen yesterday. Like, Ryan wasn't home or something. And, and they were just like in our kitchen. I was like... Kind of scared. Of. The intruder was like polite and took his shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I just didn't know whose shoes they were. Anyways, this is the fit for tonight. We have this sweater. I think it's from Verity. Um, the skirt's from Princess Polly. Shoes are obviously Dolce Vita. And I still have my hair in that half up because I kind of like it, but it's, it's getting a little greasy. So we're going to go head out to a Christmas bar. We're going to Miracle on 5th Street. It's like this crazy Christmas bar. They deck it out to the nines. I went last year and it's actually pretty epic. They said they'd have food and drinks and I'm honestly so hungry. So we're actually going a little bit early. Happy Friday, you guys. Ryan's opening his The Gate order. The um, Gate? Yeah, The Gate. That's what the TikTok is. Yeah. What do you think? The I'm kind of... surprised it came in the real box. Yeah. But it came in, it smells like spray paint. You smell it? Let me smell. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It smells like oily. 
I've gotten Louis Vuitton slippers off the gate and like they're pretty legit and uh, it literally came with the Louis Vuitton box too. They're too small. They're too small? A little bit, yeah. Oh damn. Like right on the edge. I see. How long did they take to come? <laughs> I don't know. Let's be like, like a month or? Yeah, probably. Yeah. About. And what'd you order for your desk or your office? Yeah, I also got like a Hermes blanket. Like it's kind of like, well, no, it's not like that, but it's like the checkered logo I one. The one. I think it's got it's like orange and like a brown H on it or something. Nice, bougie man. <laughs> Wanted to show you my outfit really quick because I just got this in from Skims. They have their holiday shop live right now. This is not an ad, but they did gift me this set, and I am obsessed with these cotton rib tanks. Like I feel like I wear them almost daily. I have two heathered gray ones, one. Uh, like cream colored one, one black one. Did I buy two black ones? I don't even know. I think I have one black one and then one dark gray net one and now I'm adding this to my collection so that's exciting. They're just like the perfect like I don't know daily thing to wear because then you can wear like a cardigan over it or like a hoodie and just like sweatpants and so that's kind of like on my daily um, roster for the for the outfits. I do size down in these tanks to a medium because I want the girls to be a little bit more supported. I will say that they are a tiny bit see-through but like if I'm wearing it at home I'm not really too worried but for the cream one I definitely wear like at least some nipple covers with them but I have never tried their like little ribbed pants so these are super cute. They're just very holiday-y. This was not an ad, but I will link it down below because I think it's super cute. I <laughs> messaged the guy who's going to do our bathroom renovations about fixing the stairs because um, if you haven't watched my like past reno vlogs or just like demo vlogs, we took off the molding on the stairs and I just wanted to be like literally flush. Like you can't really tell it's like messed up because that's literally what I want it to look like, but it just needs to be like covered obviously with some sheetrock. So I'm waiting on a quote for that, but I would love that to be done and I really need to stain these stair noses because this is just like a perfect selfie spot. So I need to get to that. It's a lot later in the day and we're headed to my friend's housewarming party. And this is the outfit for tonight. I have this really pretty shirt from Revolve and the pants are actually from Revolve too. I just got it in the mail like yesterday and just tried it on today, but I love these pants. They're from Paige and I don't know if I took the tags off. I should check before I go. They just look very flattering. I love the flare and they actually have like a little sheen to them. They're not fully leather, but they look like they're leather. So we love a stretchy pant. So the housewarming party starts at 8.30. It literally feels like it's 10.30 right now, doesn't it? I've been watching Bachelor in Paradise. What'd you say? I've been saving that daylight. <laughs> We caught up on all the episodes we missed like last week. So yesterday when it was on, we watched last week's. And so then we watched this week's today. Also, I don't think I mentioned that this mirror is new. Um, I got it from CB2 and I paid for delivery. Wait, maybe I did mention it then because it got delivered and it was broken the first time. So it came the next Friday and it was perfectly fine but I want to make like a whole separate video on this one comparing it to my Ikea mirror because it's a lot smaller but it's very similar and I know that CB2 sells a smaller version of this mirror that's similar to the Ikea mirror anyways so hopefully I can do that soon I want to do it like on a sunny day and we haven't been having many of those it's a bit elevated casual tonight mm -hmm. whatever that means <laughs> <laughs> so wearing this with a blazer I literally do not know anything about dress codes. I'm probably not wearing shoes either. It's even harder. Well, it's a housewarming party. You don't want to get it all dirty. Oh, I wore my muck boots. <laughs> There's mud all over them. Hell no. What's Sophie wearing? Her Guys, sweater. I gave Sophie a bath today. She's looking so cute. Like a vow? Like a vow. So beautiful. So elegant. Just looking like a vow. Sophie, come here. Show your face! She's like, on. You look like you've got a big head. Come here, come here. Are you so cute? Are you the cutest girl in the world? You have to start with, are you? And then she'll look at you. <laughs> are you cute girl? Are you Sophie? I don't think <laughs> this is necessary. Maybe text Jackson. That's what he's wearing. Yeah, the shoes are cool. I like them. Oh, no. It's literally the elbow pads. <laughs> if you feel sad for Ryan that I'm roasting his outfit, 
don't because he just roasted mine. So even though I asked him earlier when I was trying this on, I feel like we're very different vibes <laughs> right now. <laughs> we're all black then? Maybe. Or just like a black shirt. Because that looks like an athletic shirt, you know? It is an athletic shirt. Okay, so change it. The heck? I don't have all my clothes here. Well, whose problem is that? Ryan has not gotten his freaking clothes yet.